welcome to Sila V Tarot. So let's take a look and see what the overall energy is at this time. Okay, let's see what's going on in love at this time. If you are interested in a personal reading, everything is below. What's the overall message for my viewers at this time? I'm hearing, will you forgive me? So we have stalemate and phone call here. Stalemate and phone call. So someone here is waiting for a call, waiting for some sort of communication. We have stalemate, phone call. Um, someone here saying, again, I keep hearing like, will you forgive me? Or is this like forgivable? Like someone here is trying to gain some sort of forgiveness for something. Um, is there an energy between the two of you where someone here is not being vocal or this is a one-sided thing where someone here really doesn't understand where you're coming from? There could have been, again, a situation that happened between the two of you. And again, you feel like it's like a one-sided thing. There could be family involved or friends involved, but or other people involved for that matter. But there's an energy of someone here. It's like they're not communicating. You're not communicating. We're not communicating. So when it comes to us actually understanding one another and just communicating in a fair place, there's like a standoff here. So it's like the both of us are, are standing, waiting for this other person to possibly say something. It's like someone needs like a mediator in order to come in between the two of you and bring you two into this place of understanding one another. But I just feel like for a lot of you, there's like a lack of communication happening, right? Even if you live with this person, it's like we don't even communicate, we don't talk. Right. Or this is someone that when they do text me or when they do communicate, they're not really talking about their emotions. They're not talking about what we really need to talk about. They're not telling me they're interested. They're not telling me they're not interested. They're just leaving everything up in the air. OK, I do feel like this is one of those things where it's like both of you acknowledge this energy. This is not like a one sided thing where you feel this and you're the only one feeling this stalemate energy. Someone here knows that they have to open up and they need to, um, you know, add some sort of love and affection to this connection here. Let's see how long the stalemate is going to last. I just feel like some of you are getting extremely tired of this energy because this could be something that this person does a lot. And you could be defining this as someone just not caring. Like, how could you go so long without communicating and not picking up the phone and saying something to me? So for some of you, it's like day by day, you're coming up with your own conclusion of, well, maybe they're busy. Maybe they have other things going on in their life. Maybe their phone broke, right? Or maybe they don't care. All right. Or maybe this is someone here that's extremely stubborn when it comes to reaching out and really expressing their heart at this time. So let's take a deeper look and see what's going on. All right. But I do feel like the biggest energy at this time is communication. Like we're not communicating properly. Why? All right. So let's take a look here and see. Like out of nowhere for some of you, someone just decided to just call off communication and you're looking at this as if like this shouldn't be tolerated this behavior is not okay like we're adults right we're grown let's get some more please with this overall energy anything else here for my viewers pertaining to this connection see so we'll fly out bottom of the deck we have our song our commitment so this is someone here that made a lot of promises we have alone energy here. Clarify this alone here before Silavis takes off. We have unstable. Someone here, it's like they struggle with being alone. So for some of you, you're like, well, maybe if they're not talking to me, they're talking to other people. But there's an energy of this person like... It's like once they start feeling alone or once they start feeling like they don't really have anyone to connect with. Look at this. I love you. Someone here has a tendency of coming in and telling you that they care about you. For some of you, you know that this person loves you. You know that. That you know. It's like, I know in my alone time when I'm out of my feelings, I know that you love me. I know that you care about me. Like, I know that. There could also be a text message coming in for some of you. And it may, like, confirm a lot of what you've been thinking. It may clear up some doubts here for you. Let's get a little bit more. Then we have so close here. 
Okay? So there's an energy of like someone at some point fearing the fact that you guys may not renew this connection again or you two may not come into um you know into a place of being close again i feel like someone's going to start getting like extremely bothered here with the fact that you're moving into an energy where you may be cutting the cord in this connection like whether you love them you're starting to say like i rather just be alone than keep on dealing with this back and forth there's like a pattern in this connection that you're wanting to sever or you're wanting to stop although i do see reunion again here for a lot of you or this could be something that you guys do a lot where it's like we you know have a tendency of speaking then we come together then we don't talk you know what i mean and then this person wants their alone time without telling me this could be someone that will ghost here it's like one minute they're so in love and the next minute they're wanting some time off and some of you are saying, say la vie, this is something that's bringing a lot of like clarity to me. This is not really what I want anymore. Mm. Someone here is also feeling as if like maybe you're connecting with someone else. Someone here is also saying like you have to let something go. Someone has to let something go. So I'm hearing like let, th let that go. Stop bringing that up. Someone here keeps like bringing something up here that actually pushes someone into this place of wanting to be alone. Take that how that resonates for you. But someone is saying like, every time I come around, there's something that you do to push me away or you say something to push me away. You bring something up in the past or you're bringing up something maybe about commitment maybe or maybe about, again, something that happened in the past. Someone is saying, someone keeps on bringing something up. We have soon popping out. One more please. And then we have reach out. There's no way that you two are not going to connect with one another. I mean, I feel like this is what you both are thinking, right? Then we have soon at the bottom of the deck. I, I really feel like there could be other people in this energy. And I feel like someone may fizzle out at some point. Or there's an energy of someone no longer being in the picture. And this may actually bring someone back to you. Someone's going to like miss the fire that you bring into their life or they're going to miss the passion that you bring into their life here. But I feel like for some of you and, you know, we'll look at this in the extended, of course, but some of you are dealing with someone that's afraid of commitment and not wanting commitment for some of you. Okay. Someone here has a tendency of whenever things start to get emotionally um, intense they tend to become very cold or whenever it's time to talk about emotions, this person tries to run. This person possibly asked you for patience in the past and in your mind, you're like, what do we need patience for? Like, what's, what's the holdup? Why aren't we, you know, still together or why aren't we together at all? We have some secrets here. Well, again, in the extended, I want to see exactly how this person truly feels about you actions they're willing to take and clarifying this energy of soon here because i feel like someone here is like it's like they're going to lean into your energy but i want to know what this third flame is about here like what what is that about because i feel like for some of you someone may be walking away from some sort of habit or something here that caught their attention for a little bit or this person was leaning towards moving away or leaning towards walking out of your life or completely ghosting this, but then we're followed by commitment phobia here. So I feel like there's an energy of someone here feeling as if like this is something that's been haunting them or something that's been bothering them for a very long time. They're still trying to figure out why they do certain things. With all of this communication energy that I feel here, it's more so, or even see, I feel like someone here, they have a tendency of also telepathically reaching out to you, whether they know it or not. It's like we talk to one another through dreams. We feel one another. There's no way I'm popping up in your mind if I'm not thinking about you and you're not thinking about me. So there's a connection here still, okay? Let's get a message here before we take off. Someone here has to make a decision here. I know I need to make a decision. Again, with that phone in that person's hand. Someone here, it's like de they're debating on what to say, how to say it, when to say it, if I should even say it. Should I say something to you? And eventually when I do, what is it going to sound like? We'll look at that 
you know, in the extended. The link will be at the bottom of the video if you are interested, of course. And if this resonated with you, please like and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. I'll see you on the other side. This is a very secretive energy. This is an energy of you not seeing a lot of things in terms of how this person feels about the connection. And one of the things that I feel like this person is deeply feeling is love. And I feel like for some of you, because you're going to have some sort of text conversation with this person, you're going to notice something very different about this person, especially 